What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel, I am a staff software engineer, and in today's video, we are going to talk about a very unique company. If you read the title or saw the thumbnail, then you already know that we are talking about Netflix. This company completely breaks the mold when it comes to providing jobs for software engineers. They also break the mold when it comes to firing software engineers, which we will talk about a little bit later on in this video. If this is your first time watching a video in this series, the way that we do these is I will first start off by talking about the salaries that Netflix offers, and then we will talk about the benefits that Netflix provides their software engineers as well. Netflix is trying to build the dream team. It's right there in the company's culture memo. Like a sports team, they're only looking for experienced professionals that are able to work well with others. Because of that dream team mentality, Netflix only hires senior software engineers, so there's actually only one level at the entire company. So along with talking about every level at Netflix, which will be easy because there's only one, I will also be breaking down the salaries at each level, starting from the lowest reported salary, going all the way up to the highest reported salary. Also, to keep things more recent, we're only looking at salaries that were reported since 2020. So this is the lowest reported compensation at Netflix. Think of this as the baseline. This is probably the least amount of money that you will be paid at Netflix as a software engineer. That reported compensation is $420,000 per year, which is pretty nice. This salary was reported by several people on levels.fyi. Of those, two thirds decided to take salary with some stock options, and one third decided to just take straight cash. And if you're interested in what I mean by some engineers decided to take some stock options, don't worry, we'll get to that once I get through the rest of the salary information. Again, Netflix is really unique in the way that they've structured their company. The 25th percentile of reported salaries at Netflix comes in at $441,000 per year. For myself, I have a savings goal of $2 million before I would be able to retire. So crunching the numbers, that means that if I worked at Netflix making this salary, I would be able to retire in about five years. And I don't know about you, but being able to retire at 35 years old sounds pretty awesome. Then we have the 50th percentile. This is the median, this is straight down the middle. That salary comes in at $479,000 per year. Now, the average salary is actually higher than the median, which tells us that there's higher salaries pulling up the average. And so that comes in at just over $492,000 per year on average as a senior software engineer at Netflix. The 75th percentile of software engineers at Netflix earn $525,000 per year. If we break it down to per month, that is $43,750 every single month. What would you do with $43,750 every single month? Let me know in the comments section down below. And then we have the highest reported salary at Netflix, which comes in at $630,000 per year. Of those that reported the salary, 50% decided to take straight cash and 50% decided to take cash along with some stock options. So Netflix is a really interesting company and really the only way that I can think to summarize why they're so interesting is they really try to treat all of their employees like adults. You'll see that later when we talk about the benefits at Netflix, but you can even see that just in the way that they structure their compensation. For starters, Netflix doesn't offer a bonus. They hire the best software engineers, and in doing this, they already know that they're going to get the best results possible, so it doesn't really make sense to incentivize people with a bonus. Instead of doing that, they just bake the bonus into your base salary. It's also worth noting that Netflix pays top of market for their salaries. From looking at what senior software engineers made in 2020, Netflix came in at number two. LinkedIn was able to oust them for that number one spot, so I'm sure that salaries in 2021 at Netflix are probably going to go up just a little bit. Netflix offers their engineers a total compensation package and then they allow them to figure out, do you want that all in salary? Do you want that split between salary and stock options? or do you want that 100% paid out in stock options? I haven't seen anyone take 100% stock options at Netflix, but if you look at how the stock has performed in the last decade, if you can afford to take no money in salary and just take all stock options, it actually wouldn't be that bad of an idea. 
Netflix also doesn't mess around when it comes to the benefits that they offer. Since they believe in hiring adults that they can trust, they offer unlimited paid time off along with unlimited sick time. For new parents, you can expect up to one year off at Netflix. Netflix says that you will work with your manager along with your business partner to determine what amount of time off is right for you. One employee wrote an article detailing their experience with this benefit, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This employee ended up taking the first three weeks off right after birth with another eight weeks off while their child was four to six months old, and they have plans to take another month off when their child turns one year old. Netflix will also pay for 10 days of child, elder, adult, or pet care with the main goal of this perk being to remove distractions from your life so that you can focus on the work that you have in front of you. Like any good tech company, Netflix offers free breakfast, lunch, and dinner while their offices are open. Honestly, free food is a really nice perk, but as we've seen in the last year, Free food shouldn't be the deciding factor for whether or not you join one company over another. If you're in the military, then Netflix will pay 100% of your salary while you are in active duty or while you are in training. This is actually pretty neat. I don't know that I've seen any other company say that they offer this as a benefit, so just wanted to call that one out. By the way, this video is part of a larger series, and so if you want to see all of the videos in this series, I will leave the playlist at the end of this video so you can check that out after you're done with this one. The company's 401k plan is through Fidelity and they will match dollar for dollar on the first 4% of your base salary. One thing to note is that because the base salaries at Netflix are so high, there is a chance that you won't even be able to contribute 4% of your base salary because you would already hit the IRS's maximum limit. Netflix doesn't explicitly say this, but I am assuming that they cap out this benefit at $19,500 every year, which is still really great, but just one thing to keep in mind. Outside of that 401k, Netflix also offers a mega backdoor Roth IRA along with a Roth 401k and they even have ESPP where you can purchase shares at a 60% discount. Then when it comes to healthcare, Netflix provides all of their software engineers with $16,000 for them to spend on their medical, dental, and vision premiums. This allowance is given to everyone, so whether you are single or married with 12 kids, you still get that same $16,000 per year. If you don't make use of that full $16,000, Netflix will give you $5,000 back over the course of the year as a way to reimburse you for that money that you didn't spend. So that means in some cases, Netflix will actually pay you to have health insurance. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? The company also has a generous disability program. So if you were to use short-term disability, they would cover 100% of your salary for the first 12 weeks. And then for the remaining 40 weeks, they would still cover 70% of your salary. For long-term disability, you will receive 70% of your salary, which is capped out at $20,000 per month which means that would be the equivalent of a $240,000 a year salary, which would be really great for most people. Unfortunately, at Netflix, you're actually taking quite a bit of a pay cut, but still $240,000 a year for the rest of your life, that's not too bad. Netflix also has a life and serious injury benefit. If an employee passes away, their designated beneficiary will receive $1.5 million. This is one of those benefits that is pretty easy to overlook, but unfortunately it does happen more often than you would like to think. For serious injuries, Netflix will also pay the individual up to $400,000 based on the type of injury. I wasn't able to see like the full breakdown of like what gets you $400,000, what gets you $200,000. Would be kind of interesting to see, but yeah, just wanted to call that out. Uh, if you are seriously injured while working at Netflix, you can receive up to $400,000. Netflix has a work not drive policy. Essentially, they want you to make the most use of your time and they understand that commuting is a huge time sink. They will pay all full-time employees to commute to work using rideshare. So Uber, Lyft, or whatever rideshare company you wanna use and they don't have any cap on this benefit. Really, they want to make sure that the time that you are spending getting to work can be productive. So you can sit and type away on your laptop while you're getting chauffeured to work. If that seems a little too wasteful for you, they also offer company shuttles in their Los Angeles and Los Gatos offices. Netflix also offers a very generous severance package, which may come in handy during your tenure with the company. This severance package will be a minimum of four months of your salary, and it could go higher depending on how long you've worked with the company. The way this works is managers are asked to perform what is called the keeper test. 
The way that the keeper test works is if the employee were to hand in their resignation letter today, would the manager fight to keep them at the company? If the manager's answer to that question is no, I would just let them go. Well, instead of just waiting for the employee to quit, the manager should fire that employee immediately and they should look for someone that they would actually want to keep around. I actually think the way that this benefit is constructed is pure genius. And so if you want me to make a dedicated video where I break down exactly why this benefit is awesome and why every company should institute the keeper test, let me know and I'd be more than happy to make a video just on that. Rounding out the benefits, Netflix also offers a 200% donation match, which is capped at $20,000 per year. When I first got into the industry, donation match matches really weren't that important to me, but as the years have gone on and I've been donating more and more, this benefit is actually one that I really look for and I really appreciate whenever any company offers one. They offer adoption and fertility assistance. You'll have access to a company phone along with phone bill reimbursement. There is an on-site employee mall. Netflix has a gym discount. They have gender neutral bathrooms. There is an on-site laundry. It is a pet friendly workplace. And yes, they do offer a relocation bonus. Netflix is a weird company. It's one that hires professional adults and then gives them complete autonomy and trust to go off and do their job. They're assembling the the dream team and so they aren't afraid to let someone go if they aren't pulling their weight. In return they offer amazing benefits, great salaries, and if Netflix wasn't the right place for you they will also make sure that you don't experience financial hardship while you are looking for your next job. This video was a little bit different from my previous software salaries videos. If you did enjoy this video let me know by dropping a like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload another video just like this one. Also come chat with me in our growing Discord Discord community. It is growing day by day. It is completely free to join and it's a great place to go if you are already a software engineer or you are aspiring to become one. That's it. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.